The following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Eric Colby for BoatTest.com, and today we're going to be conducting a performance evaluation and full inspection on the 210 Suncoast from Chaparral Boats. The 210 Suncoast measures 20 feet 10 inches long with an 8 foot 6 inch beam. She's available with a single outboard motor ranging from 150 to 200 horsepower from Yamaha or Mercury. It was equipped with a standard three blade stainless steel prop. With two crew aboard and 25 gallons of fuel, we had a test weight of 3,715 pounds. The 210 has an 18 degree dead rise at the transom and draws 30 inches in the running position. She ran a top speed of 47.8 miles per hour at 6100 RPM and burned 21.1 gallons per hour giving the boat a range of 102 statute miles. Best cruise came at 3500 RPM where she ran 22.1 miles per hour and burned 4.5 gallons per hour giving us a range of 221 statute miles. With a half tank of fuel and two people aboard, the 210 Suncoast planed in 3.4 seconds and ran out to 20 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds and to 30 miles per hour in 7.3 seconds. When we put the 210 Suncoast through a series of maneuverability tests, she aced them, responding predictably and tracking cleanly through each turn. Now let's take a closer look at some of the features of this family-friendly outboard-powered runabout. Starting at the bow, the 210 Suncoast has forward-facing cushions on each side with a removable cushion in the center. Note that the backrests wrap around to the bow. The grab rails, cup holder, and LED courtesy lights come standard and the stainless steel speaker grille is part of the optional deluxe package. These docking lights come standard. Chaparral has installed six pull-up cleats throughout the boat and a flip-up navigation light keeps the foredeck obstruction-free when not in use. The 210 Suncoast has a small bow platform and beneath this hatch are the four-step beach ladder and Danforth style anchor that secures with these clips. We like the handle on the ladder frame that makes it easy to deploy. It's unusual to see a bee tree boarding ladder on a sport boat, but by widening the bow on deck, Chaparral has been able to incorporate it and add the kind of room in the bow seating that we often see on deck boats this size. The removable center pad on the bow uncovers a non-skid walkway to the foredeck. Outboard on each side, there's storage beneath the bottom cushions, and note the scuppers that channel away water, keeping the locker contents drier. In the bow and throughout the 210 Suncoast, the two-tone upholstery and quality French stitching give the boat the upscale feel that Chaparral is known for. The walk-through windshield secures in the open position with this stainless steel magnet, and to keep the wind from blowing through into the cockpit, this optional hatch closes off the bottom half of the passageway. This comes in handy for owners who like to extend their seasons when temperatures drop. Working aft, the dash is fabricated from aluminum and fiberglass, and we like the use of dark upholstery on the upper section and eyebrow to keep glare off the windshield. The panel comes standard with multi-function gauges, but the Garmin chart plotter, hydraulic steering, and tilt wheel are options. The driver's bucket seat has a flip-up bolster, and the cutouts on the side make it easier to get in and out without having to swivel the seat. Across from the helm, the port console opens to reveal a large compartment that has lighting and a hanging rod. The extra latch ensures that the hatch stays closed. An owner can upgrade this compartment with a portable toilet or pump-out model. The port are a stainless steel grab handle in the stereo with Bluetooth, auxiliary, and USB jacks. For maximum seating versatility, Chaparral created the Oasis Seat, a portside lounge that adjusts to three positions. Here the passenger can travel facing forward and there's draining storage in the base. Move the backrest forward to create this chaise-style lounge that has a dedicated spot for a standard 25-quart removable cooler in the base. This would be a good spot for observing water sports. The 210 Suncoast comes standard with a bimini top and the stainless steel framework is designed to eliminate the need for straps that secure it to the deck or windshield frame. These standard Isinglass inserts between the windshield and bimini will come in handy during a passing shower. Abaft the helm seat to starboard is another lounge seat with a bottom cushion that pulls out of the way to reveal the 12-volt water toy inflator. For remaining cockpit storage, there is a large carpeted locker in the helm console that also provides access to the helm rigging. The insole locker has plenty of space for skis and boards. The hatch opens on a gas strut and it locks. It's important to note that the in-deck drains are plumbed directly overboard, making the 210 Suncoast a self-bailing boat. This hatch in the passageway to the stern opens the insulated cooler. Aft on each side are small raised seats with hinged bottoms. The plumbing for the freshwater system is to starboard and just aft is the pull-out shower. The starboard compartment houses the battery switch and circuit breakers and notice the remote trim switch just alongside. There are dual fuel fills on the starboard and port sides and as part of the deluxe options package, the aft walking area on our test boat was finished in flexi-teak. Aft to starboard are another pull-up cleat and the three-step boarding ladder. 
It's here that we find the most innovative and functional area of the 210. With just one small step up, there's easy centerline passage from the cockpit to the stern for water sports. Chaparral has created an attractive and highly functional stern by wrapping the swim platform around the outboard engine, making it appear as an integral part of the boat rather than just something clamped onto the transom. Once back on the stern, there is flat decking between the two jump seats and the outboard well to make it easier to access the port and starboard swim platforms. From these good-sized platforms, towing sports of all kinds can be launched. With efficient, quiet, four-stroke outboard power, the Chaparral 210 Suncoast is a runabout that will appeal to families who want to cruise or tow the kids around on a tube. For BoatTest.com, I'm Eric Colby.